In this video, we will tell you the eight tips that will make you rich even if you are getting a low salary. Actually, a low salary could never stop you from getting rich. Your actions are responsible for your poverty. Watch this video till the end if you really want to know how to become rich on a low income. And don't miss the eighth tip because it is very crucial for everyone. Now let's start. 1. Establish an emergency savings account. It's crucial for individuals to have a reserve fund for emergencies. However, it becomes more than anything crucial if you make less money. The margin for error is only smaller. Should you earn a substantial salary, your monthly budget might provide for some wiggle room to handle unforeseen expenses. It wasn't me. I wouldn't have been able to pay for costly repairs or unexpected medical expenses without the emergency fund, which would have forced me to use credit cards or other loans. 2. Use extra income cautiously. You have to use extreme caution in how you spend any money windfalls when attempting to become rich on a modest salary. For instance, I was given several thousand dollars as birthday presents. I could have made the most of my holidays with all of that cash. Instead, I decided to start a foundation account with that money and scraped my personal plan for a vacation. That offered me some much needed breathing room until I could add even more to the emergency fund I was having. Press the subscribe button and also the like button to know more amazing financial lessons daily. 3. Reduce your auto and housing expenditure. Now, this is maybe the most significant piece of advice on this particular video, in my view. Countless educational videos on personal finance will inform you that cutting back on small expenses like eating out or television cable is essential to achieving financial stability. Moreover, the latte factor is certain to argue that giving up lattes would make all of your money problems go away. Finally, I would like to add that I support being economical and practicing self-control in all facets of life. What frustrates me, though, is that not many individuals are discussing the two fees that could drastically affect your financial situation. That also covers your housing and vehicle costs. You might be able to save $30 to $120 a month if you give up coffee and TV. However, your mortgage will normally be reduced by $300 if you purchase a home that is $50,000 less costly. The same holds true for modes of transportation. The amount you pay every month would be thousands of dollars lower if you bought a $5,000 automobile rather than a $30,000 one. Alternatively, you might be able to pay cash and do away with the need for a vehicle payment completely. Four. Examine and contrast each monthly major bill. Every week, people will dedicate hours to searching through offers in an attempt to save 50 bucks on cereal or $1 on fruit. And that's okay with me. We also employ buying grocery items and cheap techniques. However, a lot of us never take the time to compare automobile insurance quotes each six-month period or so, for whatever reason. And it seems unusual to me. After all, you may save $50 to $100 a month with only one or two calls to the phone. That appears to be a respectable timely return. Why wouldn't you want to carry out such an action? Although our spending on food and eating elsewhere has never been extravagant in any way, we have always made a point of paying careful consideration to the monthly costs of items like insurance, cable, internet, and phone. Following the expiration of our contract, my internet provider begins to increase our cost annually. I then phone each year to request that I stop receiving service, and they immediately give me a special discount on a one-year contract, which, coincidentally, is the same amount I was paying previously. 5. Steer clear of a credit card debt. This one will be fairly straightforward for me to do for you. It's critical that you avoid paying exorbitant interest on everything you buy if you want to get rich on a very low income without experiencing stress or work resentment. You just don't have the flexibility to be tossing money down the drain in that way when you're on a smaller wage. 
Any debt with an interest rate of 7% or more has the potential to be problematic, but credit card debt in particular. This is so because basic interest calculations are usually used for mortgages and auto loans. However, credit card interest is calculated using compound interest. Put otherwise, the daily addition of interest to your principal is what happens. In addition, the typical interest rate on a credit card is 15%. Recall that this is the meaning. However, credit card interest rates frequently exceed 20%. Nothing about that appeals to you. 6. Establish sinking money for unusual expenses. When we first started dating, we discovered that several costs often broke our budget. Foodstuffs and utilities would not be among them. Rather, sporadic costs such as auto maintenance, presents, apparel, trips, etc. would be incurred. We appeared to incur some sort of unexpected expenditure each and every month. As we continued to consider the situation, though, it became clear that none of these expenditures were truly unexpected. In other words, family members' birthdays and Christmas occur at the same time each year. Cars will inevitably break down and require maintenance, that much is certain. So, each month, we began setting aside money for these erratic needs. Creating sinking funds is what some would refer to as this. To monitor our declining funds, we just utilize mint in our situation. For every sporadic cost, however, you might also open a different savings account. Alternatively, remove the real cash for each category and place it in the appropriate envelopes. 7. Traveling Tricks You Should Use You'll need to learn how to travel wisely if you want to understand how to live contentedly on a modest salary. And why? Due to the fact that it might be quite costly. The cost of the hotel alone for a week-long trip for an extended family of four could easily reach $700 to $1,000. That can cost an additional $500 to $1,000 if you fly. Then there are expenses like dining, sightseeing, and maybe hiring a car. Saving so much money for a trip might be quite challenging, particularly if you also need to save monthly for retirement and an emergency reserve or sinking fund. However, it was crucial for my wife and me to be able to take one or two trips a year. Thus, I was resolute in finding a means to do it. I learned about travel tricks with credit cards for the first time at that point. If you're unfamiliar with the concept, it involves earning credit card sign-up bonuses that may be redeemed for complimentary hotel stays, airfare, or other travel-related benefits. 8. Invest wisely. However, it is the eighth tip, but it is the most crucial one for you if you want to become rich on a very low income. I have seen many people who invest their money just because their peers do so, but let me tell you, if you are doing this then, my friend, you may face a loss. You may invest in stocks, gold, mutual funds, real estate, silver, and other assets only if you want to grow your money. Only saving cash won't help. You will have to take risks, but make sure that the risk is so small that you don't mind facing it. If you invest $5,000 now and contribute $1,000 every year and earn a compounded interest of 7% per annum, then you will need just 28 years to become a millionaire. Now, if you invest in stocks with proper knowledge, then you could become a millionaire in just 10 years also. So just tell me in the comments that isn't it nice to invest money. That's all for today. Now you know all the tips that will make you rich even if you are getting a low salary. Press the red subscribe button below and also the like button to know more amazing financial tips daily. To share this video with all of your friends and family members and also with your cousins for them to learn. The actual tricks lie in you. If you could handle your money scarefully, then you will get rich. Just look at Sir Warren Buffett. How frugal he is. Frugality is the key to success. He always stays on track. He invests his money into various asset classes. He is very strict with all the rules of money. Any person who follows the rules of money carefully can get rich.
If you are serious with your money, then you must start following the rules of money also. These can make you rich even in just five years. Yes, I'm not lying. I have seen many people who are disciplined, got rich in just four years. You could also be one of them. But the problem is, none of the videos will tell you the actual rules of money. Don't worry. We have made a detailed video on this topic. You can click on the video appearing on the left side to watch that out. Thanks for staying with us till here.